Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. In today's video, I'm going to debunk a myth and reveal to you the truth about accessing the smart data of your hard drives. So let me start by showing you some of the most frequent questions I get from some of my eBay customers. Let's go over some of these. So this one says, I have a Servraid M5110 in JBOD mode installed, but it doesn't work well with iDRAC 7 and the OS doesn't see any smart stats. And are the smart stats available to the OS? All right, and then the next one here says, uh, I use Unraid and H700 does not pass smart info. And here's one that is asking, does this, does this LSI 9200AE provides full smart capabilities? And this one says, um, would this work with the H200 so that the OS sees the disks? Will I have smart access to every disk? And one more here that asks, uh, I will be wanting to pass through the smart, drive smart data to the OS. I'm running VMware, but want the Windows OS to handle the drive monitoring. And finally, does this card pass smart info to the OS, in my case, Unraid? So obviously, a lot of people have concerns about being able to access the smart data of their hard drives or SSDs. And there's this notion that RAID controllers do not allow this, and that one requires an HBA IT mode controller in order to accomplish this. I'm going to show you that this is false. Now, when we have questions, what do we do? Other than ask the most awesome eBay seller, we ask the internet. So let's see what the internet tells us about these type of questions. Here are some of the things I found on the internet. So let's look at some of this. All right, so this one says, um, can you confirm that it is running IT firmware and is operating in true HBA mode with no RAID features at all? An LSI 9211-8i is a RAID card that can be turned into an HBA, so it sounds to me like it is running, is not running IT firmware, which is why you are not getting smart data. And here is a statement that says, if the drives are not in RAID mode, then it won't pass along the smart data. You need to use pass-through mode. Now, these statements are not entirely false, but they are sort of half-truths. And let's say they're inaccurate without context. And I'll elaborate on that more later on, but let's see what else we find. Now, here's someone who's asking similar questions and sounds like they've read some of the stuff I just showed you, where they say, why is it that I need to flash the H200 to IT mode? Is it that smart data won't get read? And finally, this was posted on a forum, supposedly quoting some official hardware guide document. And it says, most hardware RAID cards will mask the smart disk health status information that each disk provides. Very simply, each disk is connected to the hardware RAID controller card and the disks become invisible to the standard smart monitoring utility smart CTL. So again, this statement is sort of a half truth as well and is lacking context. Now, instead of picking these statements apart, how about I just show you? But I want you to remember some of these statements that I just showed you, okay? All right, enough talk, let's get on the server. So here I have an SH terminal to a CentOS 7 Linux installation on an R710 server with a H700 RAID controller, which uses the LSI SAS 2108 chipset. Yes, you heard that right. This is a proper hardware RAID controller with cache, battery backup, and all that. So this is definitely not an HBA, not an IT mode firmware. All right, so let me show you. Here you can see it is a SAS 2108 chipset and the PCI uh, class clearly shows this is a RAID controller. Now, what I've done here is set up each of the six hard drives as single disk RAID 0 sets. So basically I have six RAID 0 virtual disks, each backed up by one of the physical disks. So let me show you how these virtual disks look like in LSCSI. Clearly these six hard drives are identified as H700 disks instead of the actual Hitachi drives that they are. So 
It is true that Hardware RAID does mask the actual hard drives as you just saw, but let's see what Smart CTL can detect. So what's interesting here are the last six entries that use the dash D Mega RAID option. Let's see what this option will reveal to us. Yes, what you're looking at is the smart data from one of the Hitachi hard drives. And if I scroll down further, you will see a list of the usual smart attributes. Now remember, this is hardware RAID controller, and I'm using the smart CTL command. So remember the statement I showed you earlier? Let's look at that again. Most hardware RAID cards will mask the smart disk health status information that each disk provides. Very simply, each disk connected to the hardware RAID controller and the disks become invisible to the standard smart utility, smart CTL. So I don't know what the author of that statement means by most hardware RAID cards, but LSI being one of the top tier RAID controller manufacturers, I would think the most in that statement includes LSI controllers like the one I just showed you. And as you just saw, I also use the smart CTL utility and the disks are set up in RAID 0. So put simply, a good portion of that statement is not true. Now earlier, I didn't say that the statement was completely false, and here's why. As you can see, running the smart CTL utility to query the smart data, like a directly attached hard drive, does not work, which is expected because the drive is not directly attached. It is part of a RAID 0 virtual disk. But if I add the dash D mega RAID option, like I did earlier, I have no problems accessing the smart data of that drive. So then the correct and accurate statement might be something like the following. With LSI hardware RAID controllers, the smart information of each hard drive cannot be accessed directly as directly attached hard drives since it is part of a virtual disk, but must be queried through the RAID controller instead, and this requires an additional option when using the smart CTL program. So now that we're getting closer to the truth, unfortunately I'm going to tell you that this isn't the end of the video. You see, the issue with accessing smart data is a little bit more nuanced. And so far, I've only shown you how to do it in Linux. So next, I'm going to reboot this R710 server with the H700 RAID controller with FreeNAS, which is based on FreeBSD. All right, I'm now logged into my FreeNAS server via SSH. Let me show you that it sees the H700 controller. So you can see FreeNAS is able to see the H700 controller and it is identified as a SAS2108. Now let's see what drives SmartCTL can detect. So SmartCTL sees all six Hitachi drives as this slash dev slash pass zero through five. And we can confirm this by taking a look at the smart data of one of these drives. Now, this may look a little bit different than what we saw earlier, and that is because SmartCTL behaves a little differently on FreeBSD. So the dash D SCSI option is a SAS only option, but these drives are actually SATA drives. So in order to see the smart data from a SATA perspective, where we can see the list of smart attributes, we need to run SmartCTL with dash D SAT option. And if we scroll down, we'll see the smart attributes as before in Linux. So even in FreeBSD and FreeNAS, 
the smart data is actually available behind a RAID controller, so long as you know the options you need to provide the smart CTL command. So far, the story on FreeNAS isn't very different than Linux, right? Well, not quite. This is where we have to dig a little bit deeper to understand some of the nuances with FreeBSD and hence FreeNAS. So this H700 RAID controller is a SAS2108 chipset. And on FreeBSD, this means it uses the MFI driver, which is basically the FreeBSD driver for Mega RAID SAS controllers. We can see this by checking out the man page for the MFI driver. So let's take a look. So this is the man page for the MFI driver. And if I scroll down, you can see a list of various uh, supported controllers, including the SAS 1078. Uh, some of these other controllers are basically the 2008 and 2108 controllers. But what you don't see on this list are the 2208s and 2308s and the newer LSI chipsets like the 3008s. And this is because on FreeBSD, those newer chipsets are supported by a different Mega RAID driver called MRSAS. So let's take a look at the man page for the MRSAS. Now, if I scroll down on this man page, you'll see a list of the so some of these are the 2208 and the 2308 controllers. And down here are some of the uh, SAS 3 controllers like the 3008 and the 3108s. Okay, so what's the point here? Well, let me show you by booting FreeNAS on an R720XD with a 2208 RAID controller. All right, so I'm logged into this FreeNAS server via SSH. Let's check out the RAID control on this R720XD. So you can see this is now a SAS 2208 controller and clearly the PCI class is for a RAID controller. Let's look at the kernel messages to see what driver was used here. What I'll do is search for the word mega RAID in dmessage. So you can see here the driver is indeed the MRSAS. And if we search for MRSAS, we can see that drives 0 through 11, DA 0 through 11 are connected to this SAS2208 controller. Now just as before, I set up each of the 12 drives in this R720XD server as single disk RAID 0 virtual disks. So let's see what drives SmartCTL can detect here. Okay, so this is a bit different than the H700 controller we were just looking at earlier. There are no slash dev slash pass 0 through 11, just the slash dev slash DA 0 through 11. Well, Let's try to get the smart data from this. As you can see, we're not really able to get any smart data. Smart CTO only sees this as some H710 drive and nothing much else. Now, these also are SATA drives, so let's try the dash D uh, SAT option. So once again, we have a failure. So the behavior of SmartCTL is clearly very different when using the MRSAS driver versus the MFI driver we saw earlier. And if you do a little Google searching, what you'll find are several bug reports related to this exact issue. Let me show you a couple of them. So first, here's one bug report uh, with the SmartCTL tools. And basically it's saying that SmartCTL doesn't work with the FreeBSD MR SAS driver as we just saw. Next, here's a bug report with FreeBSD and basically saying the same thing, that SmartCTL cannot access smart data with the MR SAS driver. So this seems to be a FreeBSD specific problem with this driver. 
And to make the point clear, let's boot the R720 XD, the same exact machine, with Linux and see what we get. Alright, so this is CentOS 7 and let's see what SmartCTL can detect. Cool, so pretty much this looks like the same thing we saw at the beginning with the H700 controller. Let's see if we can get the smart data off one of these drives. Okay, so clearly this proves my point that the issue is with the FreeBSD MRSAS driver. As you can see here, the hardware is capable of passing smart data to smart CTL using the Linux MegaRaid driver. All right then, <clears throat> so let's take a look at this from a technology stack perspective. In order to access smart data, you need a storage device that supports it, and most hard drives and SSDs today do. You need some sort of SAS controller, it can be an HBA or a RAID controller, and that controller will have some firmware on it. Uh, it can be an IT mode, IR mode, or Mega RAID in the case of LSI controllers. And then you need an operating system with a driver for that firmware. And lastly, you need a program like SmartCTL to make calls to request that smart data from uh, the storage device through this technology stack. Now, based on what you find on the internet, it seems some people think that the problem is somewhere here with the firmware and SAS controller. Clearly, this is not true as I've demonstrated for you today. Rather, the problem is really a software problem. And in today's example, it was the MR SAS driver in FreeBSD and FreeNAS. That said, until the FreeBSD developers fix the MR SAS driver, the workaround is to pick a combination within this technology stack that gets you the desired capability to be able to get smart data off your drives. But after watching this video, you now know not to blame the hardware because of a software problem. So I think the lesson learned here is one that Abe Lincoln said best. Don't believe everything you read on the internet, at least not without proof. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this informative. And if you ever hear anyone blaming the hardware for not being able to access their smart data, gently inform them of the truth. Please give me a like if you liked this video today and be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching the Art of Server today and have a great day. Bye bye.